Hey guys, I'm Dr. Chris Strandberg. Today I'm going to be showing you a day in the life of a general dentist. Most people know what a dentist does, but a general dentist has a lot of leeway with what they can do. We do extractions, fillings, crowns, um, screen for oral cancer and other diseases, and uh, we can pretty much choose what area we want to focus on. The education required most of the time is a four-year degree after high school, followed by four years of dental school. Um, you get a doctor of dental surgery or a dental medical doctor degree. So the reason I decided to become a dentist was kind of a series of events throughout my life and then like a process of elimination. Uh, when I was 10, I got hit in the mouth and I broke this tooth down here in half. Uh, this happened at a basketball game on a Saturday morning and my dentist came in uh, that day and he fixed my tooth on an emergency. And while he was there fixing my tooth, he's like, you're gonna thank me someday when you're a dentist. My first thought was, well, that's weird. Why would anybody wanna do that? But a few years later in uh, high school, I actually observed him one summer and I saw how he was using technology and I don't know, started getting the bug then. Then when I was an undergrad at UCLA, I met this really successful dentist in Los Angeles and he really inspired me with all of the number of things that he was doing in and outside of dentistry because of the career itself. So I just decided to apply and go to dental school and then I just didn't drop out and now five years after graduation, here I am. By the way, in case you guys are wondering why I'm sitting in my car, we don't start till 10 a.m. Pacific time today and we go until 7 p.m. Uh, it's not like that every day, but we have a lot of professionals that are our patients and so they like these times. So things I like about dentistry, you know, I've really never been bored, ever, because there's always something new and interesting to do, especially when you're a general dentist. Um, you meet a lot of interesting people, for better or worse. Unlike some areas in medicine, the stakes are a little bit lower. So if something goes wrong, most of the time it just means that you have to take somebody's tooth out. At the same time, you do get gratitude from patients um, especially when you take them out of pain or you improve their smile. So that makes you feel good. Things that I don't like are, you know, people are really afraid a lot of the time. They have negative association with coming to the dentist. Um, and I get it, you know, most likely if they're coming in for a procedure, it's going to hurt. And unlike some areas of medicine, we're not putting them to sleep. And while you're doing very difficult technical work where one millimeter this way or that can mean a perfect job versus complete failure, you also have to deal with someone's personality. And if they're not compliant, it can be very stressful. Overall though, it's a great career, a lot because of the flexibility that you have. As a general dentist, different parts of your career, you can focus on different things. So if I get bored in one area, I can just focus more on another in the future by learning about it. So kind of the elephant in the room that I need to address here is I was a contestant on The Bachelorette two years ago and that enabled me to get a pretty large Instagram following. So I'll tell you a little bit about that. Um, you can fast forward if you don't care. Even though dentistry is a great career, it's not necessarily the most exciting to people. So I acted like a big goofball on the show because I wanted to make sure that people knew that you can have a personality and uh, be in dentistry. As you guys know in healthcare, trust is everything. So I didn't want to do anything that would jeopardize that with my patients in the future. So while I was on the show, I really tried to keep everything I said and did G-rated. Uh, there's probably a couple of PG moments, honestly, but on the whole, it really was a good experience for me. Um, I got to go on a couple of TV shows, including The Doctors, and talk about dentistry on there, so I was very grateful for the experience. A little bit about my career so far. I graduated UCLA Dental School in 2012, and then I moved to Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I had no family or friends in Nashville whatsoever. I just wanted to go out there and experience a different part of the country. So moving there was very eye-opening for me because I was used to California and the emphasis on dental health. And certainly in Tennessee, it is much less of an emphasis. The diet there, um, at least for the patients that I serviced, was very carbohydrate and sweets rich. So, for example, drinking Mountain Dew is really common where it's unheard of in California, basically. Also in the practice that I started working in, uh, meth was a big problem among the patients. What that amounted to was tons of people needing teeth extracted or needing root canals and just tooth decay 
rampantly. I mean, I'd never seen anything like it. Um, I did a lot of dentures, especially on young people. So people in their 30s would have to get part or sometimes all of their teeth removed and literally have to wear dentures. Eventually, I moved to a different practice that was more uh, middle class and it serviced military families from across the country. Um, and that demographic was much more appreciative, I think, of the services that we did, and I really enjoyed that practice. Last year, at about this time, I got a job offer back in LA, and after some thought, I decided to move out here and just have another adventure, explore what dentistry is like. Um, so I've been in LA since April, and about a month ago, I joined a dental practice uh, and became partners with some classmates from dental school. They have two beautiful dental practices, and I really feel like I'm finally home. Like, there's just really no compromises at this place, and I'll be showing you around. All right, so here we are on Santa Monica Boulevard. You can see where our location's at. Now, there's a lot of things I love about this office. First of all, it's brand new. It just opened uh, last week. So I'm gonna show you around one of our dental operatories. got privacy glass here, map computer, basically the most expensive dental chair you can get. You know, in medicine we talk about ergonomics and uh, my pre-dental friends and dentist friends will appreciate this. So this is where we attach our drills or our hand pieces to. And what's cool is there's no cords that get in your way to strangle the patient and it's like zero gravity, so it doesn't strain your wrist all day. From a patient's perspective, we can have them sit up and speak to them, show them x-rays over here, and then when we leave them back for uh, treatment, you get to watch TV. In this room, we have our brand new 3D scanner. This component of the machine takes what we call a lateral step, and um, basically it gets a x-ray of the patient's head from a profile shot. This is a 3D cone beam scanner. So you can scan somebody's jaw bones and maxilla and look at it on a computer program in completely 3D. <clears throat> it develops a 3D model so you can see where vital structures are like nerves and roots. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you around the office a little bit more. This is the waiting room. We've got five operatories here. Right, here's our sterile. There's a lot of different softwares that you can use to organize all of your patient files. Now here we're totally paperless, and not only that, but we're not chained to any specific computer because our service is completely cloud-based. So this is my chart here. You can access it from any browser, and this will just come up on Google Chrome. And now sometimes you can see maybe 30 or more patients in a day. And you don't always have time to do notes or you don't want to stay at the office until midnight. So this is really cool if you want to go home, finish up your notes. So today we did a crown, some fillings, some whitening. It was a pretty standard day, like I said. Um, but it's been awesome hanging out with you guys today. Uh, you can check out my Instagram. I put the link there. If you have any like dental questions, feel free to ask me. Good morning everyone, I'm Dr. Wilson. Follow me today for uh, a day in the life of a surgeon. We're gonna have so much fun. Let's do it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Dr. Miami is in the house. Dr. Bobby here. This is Barry Miller. Dr. Majestic here. Dr. Antonio Webb. My name is Erin Jensen. Student Dr. Diva. White coat wardrobe. Dr. Laura Devkin. Dr. Sheila Nazarian. Dr. Desiree Houston. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys a day in the life of a dentist. Psychiatrist, life surgeon, emergency medicine physician, CRNA, dermatology resident, dermatology PA, medical student, emergency room nurse, orthopedic surgeon, surgical physician assistant, plastic surgeon, certified nurse midwife, doctor of physical therapy, a dermatology resident. Just got to the uh, first hospital. So I work eight or ten hour shifts. This is nursing a bad career. Let's give you a little peek at my schedule. Our crash cart. This is gold. I use this all the time. This is one of the 3D tools we use. Hey guys, thanks for following me along today. All right, you guys, I think that is it for me today. Thank you all for watching. Medicine is a very special profession.